This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center. Your stem cells, your health, your life. We've talked many times on this show, Frank and I have, about all the talented people that Kansas has produced. And some incredible artists are among those famous people. And today we're going to talk about one that we just lost recently, and that's Mort Walker, who was the creator of the comic strip Beetle Bailey. Of course, we've had other famous comic strip folks, you know, Hal Foster being one. And uh, I don't know what it is that contributes to this kind of creativity out here, but we've sure got it in spades. And I think it's really appropriate that we pay tribute to the very talented Mort Walker. Old cartoonists never die. They just erase away. It was one of Mort Walker's favorite sayings, said a King Feature spokesman, and until his final days, Walker lived by the word of his motto, engaging millions through his beloved comics. At the age of 94, Walker died peacefully at home on January 27th. Mort was an icon in the world of comics who set the standard for generations of cartoonists, said King Feature's president, C.J. Kettler. Dubbed the Dean of American Cartooning, Walker was one of the most prolific cartoonists in comic art history, with the creation of as many as nine different syndicated strips to his credit during his lifetime, including Beetle Bailey, the third most widely syndicated strip in the world. The fact that the comic is still in syndication today, with original material via King Features, gave Walker the longest tenure of any cartoonist on his original creation in the history of comics. Mort has been a creative bridge between today's talented artists and those of the earliest days of cartooning, said Frank A. Bennett, Jr., former CEO of Hearst. With sons Brian, Greg, and Neil having worked in tandem with their father for many years, his greatest comic creations are in great hands and will remain so going forward. Addison Morton Walker was born in El Dorado in 1923 and had cartooning aspirations at a very young age. He wrote that from his first breath, all he ever wanted to be was a cartoonist. He drew cartoons for his school newspaper when he was 10. He sold his first cartoon to Child Life magazine at the age of 11. His first comic strip, The Lime Juicers, ran in the Kansas City Journal when he was 13. He submitted his first comic strip to a national syndicate at the age of 15 and sold magazine cartoons all over the country. By the time Walker graduated from high school, his work was polished and professional. Walker's first full-time art job was as a greeting card designer for Hallmark while he attended Kansas City Junior College. In 1942, he was drafted into the Army and served overseas in Naples advancing from private to lieutenant in the Air and Signal Corps, the Engineers, the Infantry, Ordnance, Intelligence, and Investigating Branches. He kept an illustrated diary, and some of the G.I.s who he met along the way later became inspirations for Beetle Bailey characters. The Army sent him to Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri, where he got an engineering degree. He was discharged as a first lieutenant four years later in 1946. About six jumps later, I was laying on the ground and thinking, boy, my shoulders sure hurt. I kept waiting and it it didn't get better and didn't get better. I'd heard about Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center on the radio. Got down there at eight o'clock in the morning and by 11.30, the procedure was all over and it just kept getting better and better. And within six weeks, I was back digging post holes and doing the other hard work that I'd been doing before the accident. And I'm really pleased. It's, It's really worked out well for me. 